I've been involved with philanthropic work and I've always loved helping people, especially people of Zim, because Zim is my home, Zim is in my blood. So for me, it's the most important thing to help the people who help me get where I am. Um, and just the passion you see here at these type of games and stuff brings me so much joy. And um, I'm fortunate enough to have quite a few links um, to different clubs and different uh, coaches, especially here in the PSL, some national team coaches. And I have brought them here today to watch and showcase the talent of these young boys. Because, like I've said many times, uh, this is where you find the, the next stars. Here's where you find the next big players. And the biggest example is uh, Bill Antonio, who's my very good friend. He was here, he was playing on this pitch exactly at, at, at DZ Stadium and now he's playing at one of the biggest teams in Belgium. So I decided to come here through with Coach Yabo, a head coach of Cranbourne Bullets, and he, he encouraged me to do this and we, we've partnered together and I think we're, we're putting on quite a good little tournament here with a good, with a good come up as you can see, it's, okay. it's very passionate. What's your relationship with uh, AJ Alan Johnson Academy? Uh, so AJ, um, he's been my role model and my mentor for many, many years. I, I went to school at Harare International School. I was born in Zim, so I went there since um, since crash, so since kindergarten. And uh, he's he scouted me. Actually, he's the first player, to, the first coach to tell me like, look, take football seriously. And through him, I, I got connections to other academies like Legends Academy, where I spent most of my senior football, I guess. And then through there, I I, I developed such a hard shell, and I developed a, as a Zimbabwean football player. And that's how I was able to represent Zim at uh, Kosafa in 2020. Okay, so after 2020, uh, tell us how have you been up to? So what have you been up to? I mean, mm. uh, during Kosafa, I actually got scouted to go to Switzerland, and um, I went for many trials there. Some successful, some weren't so successful, but that's the nature of the game. So I did very well when I was there, and I signed a, a contract actually at a team called FC Kirchberg. Um, they play in the second league in, in Zurich. So it's, it's a good good level for me and it's all because I represented Zim that I was able to have this opportunity. So for me, I just want to give all these boys the same opportunity that maybe one day they can also represent Zim and push their careers forward and help their families. Probably we want to know how much if you put together in terms of finances and resources for this tournament to happen. Um, for me, honestly, it was it's just all of the funds that I got through through playing football. So. It's just been so much, you know, and I've also got a lot of things donated. So a lot of people have helped me donate. My club in Switzerland have donated so much. Um, Coach Yabo's given me football boots. There's um, so many people who've been involved. My parents, um, I have to thank my parents. My girlfriend, she brought food. So it's not really about the finances itself. It's more so about um, people coming together. Um, and that's what football's about. It's about no matter your color, no matter your race, no matter your ethnic background, religion, everyone can come to this football pitch today and play football.